This tombstone doesn't feature a specific name, instead reading, When I was in the military, they gave me a medal for killing two men and a discharge for loving one. Above the epitaph are two pink shaded triangles, one upside down, a symbol once used by Nazis to identify gay prisoners in concentration camps, and one right side up, a reclaimed symbol of the LGBTQIA community. That gay Vietnam veteran was Sergeant Leonard Matlovich, and for 35 years, his tombstone has been a beacon for LGBTQIA military members, both those who were out during their service and those who kept their sexual orientation secret. But back in the mid-1970s, gay rights activists looked to challenge the legality of the U.S. military's ban on gay service members, but they needed a service member with ironclad credentials to make it hard for the military to build any sort of case against them. Matt Levich thought he might be that guy. He had served with the Air Force in Vietnam, received the Bronze Star and Purple Heart, and counseled negotiations over racial tension in the military. Only thing was, Matt Levich hadn't come out yet. He was chosen as the campaign's poster boy, though, and in 1975, he came out to his superior officer, resulting in his expected discharge. Shortly after, Matt Levich was featured on the cover of Time, accompanied by the words, I am a homosexual, in big declarative letters. By 1980, a judge had found that the reason given for Matt Levich's discharge charge wasn't clear, ordering him to be reinstated and receive back pay. Matlovich fought for gay rights until his death from AIDS in 1988. In a tongue-in-cheek move, Matlovich picked a burial plot a few seconds walk away from the grave of J. Edgar Hoover, infamous for his surveillance and harassment of LGBTQIA plus individuals.